They're moving pretty fast. I think to go in my countertop for my bathroom. In today's video, I'll be giving you guys some updates. I wish it could have been the tour, but like the house is still not finished. And I want to give you guys like an official tour when upstairs is finished as well. Like then probably I'm gonna start back on that next week or so. So I'll give you guys little updates here and there about that. But for now, I'm just going to give you guys some updates about downstairs. And as you can see, we have a new door now at the side. You know, not a regular degular door. It's a slide door. We got it from High Qual for about seventy to eighty thousand dollars thereabouts. It slides on both sides, so that part can actually open as well. So whenever I forgot all the way over there, so to go answer the door, I could just simply, you know. This is what we use for the curtains. We so feel like we just want to look outside. You know, we can do that. That over there that you're looking at is actually the stairs. What they had to do was put a roof up there so, so that, you know, we can actually live in here. Then we're gonna take off all of that roof part and then they're going to put on the railings and finish up the stairs. So I think what they're gonna do with this area is like put a little entrance table. I don't know if I hear so it's gonna go or over in the living room, but let us get into these tiles so look at the tiles it's porcelain tiles guys like it's so shiny and nice the only downfall to it or disadvantage is that it get dirty really quickly but um aside from that i love the color i love everything about it the windows it actually matches the door right here this all right so let's get into the living room area this is a living room i know you guys remember from the last footage how the living room used to look right where i stand right now is actually where the bay window was and if you don't watch that video yet please go and watch it i'll link it right here so make sure you never watch that when you know this whole section right here was being removed we also changed the color for the accent wall it was like a, a orangish reddish i know it brown but i think they're going to change it back to something lighter if you don't have any ideas let us know for now, that's what we're using because it kind of matched the tile and it matched the coach. So that's kind of why she used it. And also we kind of painted the walls white. It was off white before. So yeah, it's now white. Don't think the white is going to stay, but for now, that's going to be the color. This is the area right here under the chandelier was actually where that table was. So as you can see, we have more space now in the living room and the dining room is now in the kitchen. That's actually where the kitchen was. That clock as well, we got it from Amazon. I don't remember the cost, but I'll leave a link right here so you guys can check it out. But this dining table though, I think we're going to change it, like give it a more modern feel. But for now, this is gonna stay. And in that area over there, they're going to actually transform it into like an office, mini office. Now, I'm just gonna show you, I'll give you a little sneak of what the half a bathroom look like because right about now it's storage. But this is what it's looking like. The toilet is the only thing that's functional in here. The sink not going yet. And all of those boxes that you're seeing is like tiles and one bag of something. All of the fixtures, like the switches and the light bulbs are now in. All right, so now for my favorite part of the house, which is the kitchen. Well, my second favorite part, the kitchen, right? And why? Because we finally get our cupboards. So we finally, finally have our cupboards now. And I'm sure y'all did not see that we got like a new fridge. We got a new fridge around October, November, thereabouts. I really like it. So this is the freezer. We have a lot more space than our last fridge. Let's just appreciate these cupboards. Like I really like these cupboards a lot. We even have a pantry now. This is just for the plates cups this is like a wine whatever area this is for like seasonings and all of them everyday cooking stuff and then this part is like for random stuff i guess but yeah as you can see we haven't gotten our countertops yet this is actually an old countertop that came with the other cupboards where we did have so we just take it and use it as a countertop for now this is the area is actually for a dishwasher that we're supposed to be getting soon. I know dishwasher for like lazy people, but trust me, it's convenient to have a dishwasher because all the time you want to get up and like wash dishes. I just want to chill. So this is a washroom. As you can see, the tiles are like so bomb. 
Oh, by the way, all of them tiles here, we're not going to see. Literally, all these tiles, you can get them at active at a reasonable rate. If I live at active, okay? So I would know. But yeah, and that was an old cupboard that we had. So we just use it in the washroom. We have a double sink for our washroom, washing machine, all of that. Let me show y'all something though. This right here is actually a bin that comes with our cupboard, you know? So we just go like that and it locks. But let me show y'all something else. Our cupboards are actually soft clothes, you know, soft clothes. And then look at this. If my anger one day, I'm just want to fling the, the cupboard. Psych! <laughs> and then it closes. So this is actually my passageway. And I don't think I'm going to show my mother's room in this video. I'll give like a separate update soon because her room is still being worked on. Um, I think they're going to extend the bathroom. So yeah, when all of that is finished, then I'll be able to show her room and her closet and everything. But this is my passageway. I don't know if you guys remember the door that was here for the bathroom. The one bathroom with the whole four we did share. Um, it's now covered. It's now a wall. I basically enter my bathroom now through my room. So let's go. So this is my room. Finally, I have my room. Um, I know in the last video, I saw some comments saying, oh, I'm going to get my room before December or whatever. I actually did get my room before Christmas. I just never get to fully update you guys on what was happening. This is not the finished look. This comforter actually I got changed because it's, it's such an old comforter, like I always use it. Um, these curtains, I think the only curtains that you're seeing right now that's actually new is the grayish looking ones. The brown ones are actually very old. This was actually made in Mandeville. So if you don't want a bed to make, I'll be the plug for y'all. But yeah, this bed is actually very comfortable. The mattress, we actually got the mattress from Singer. Pillow top mattress. So you see, it's like really, really soft. I really love it so much. Like when the mattress then they just come, I eat alone with sleep and whenever I have no bed. The TV was actually there. I know it's here because that's where I want it. This is actually an old cupboard shelf that we had from the old cupboards. And I was like, all right, why am I gonna just use it for my shelves in my room? So that's literally what I'm doing. Cause anyway, you can save money when you're doing addition, you save it. Um, yeah, we got these from Rapid. I actually repainted my room in white because in here was like an off whitish color. I'm gonna really like it. The roof was also off white and we changed it to white. But yeah, like I said, my room is not completed. This is not the completed look. Um, I'm still going to have a whole lot more stuff to do in here, like putting a closet. I need a study deck for sure. I might get a bedside table. Like when I already see, them did actually extend my windows. So, you know, now I have a big little natural light window for myself. They also extended this one. So, you know, who have a lot of light come in. Now, for the closet, that's no longer there. So right where I see right now, like where, right where I'm standing, this was actually a closet. The reason why the, the closet was even removed was because they had to cut a door right here so that I can actually enter my bathroom through my room. Let me show you guys the bathroom. So this is actually amazing to me because this was never there before. This was actually the bathroom door. You pull the door and you go through. But now it's just a plain wall. They've also retiled my bathroom. So now it has white tiles. I also got a new toilet. This is not the old one, it's the new one now. Um, this was also a bath. Like when I realized the bath is no longer there. And let me say, all of them tell you what we're telling about, active, okay? Active. Anyway, so yeah, I got new shower heads. Everything in here so basically new, apart from my floor tiles. Like the, the floor tiles that y'all are seeing in my room and in my bathroom, that's actually old tiles. And for my favorite parts in the bathroom, this whole, ugh, everything here. I just love everything right here. I love the pipe, the mirror, the sink, 
like the way how this opens is like this and i find that really unique which is why i love it so much um and this is also unique i'm glad like i never choose the option to like get it down in the tile i think you don't know my table but i'm actually put it into the tile that kind of outdated now so i'm glad to them do this and for my mirror let me show y'all something real quick oh okay so basically i don't have a plug for my bathroom so how this mirror works is that i had to plug it in this little thingamajig and then that's also where the light would come on so i'm gonna just do this and if me don't want to have both lights on at the same time i can just turn off that one day and keep this one on this is the light i'm normally bed now because it's like that bright so yeah and the reason this is here is because my mirror actually crack so I have to use this to kind of, you know, not remind myself say crack. Um, but yeah, this section here is like my favorite section of this entire bathroom. I got this mirror from Tools for about $16,000, $17,000 there about. I don't remember where they got this. This was made like this little sink thingy was actually made. This tile, the top tile was actually, we got it from Active as well um this sink i think we got this sink from tools as well so i thought that getting like a smaller wardrobe really helped me to really you know see what it is that i have and what it is that i can get rid of and what i don't need per se and all of that because i do plan on like switching up my entire wardrobe soon and i don't plan on getting a lot of stuff from we just like sitting in my clothes and not nothing so yeah i'm thinking about using just this area alone as my closet and i don't know i have two drawers already so you know i can put stuff in those um but yeah that's what i'm thinking let me know what you guys think i won't be sure my sister's room or my mother's room probably in a different video but you know this is all the updates i have for you guys right now thank you guys so much for tuning in i know i haven't been on youtube for a long while but all i can say about this whole entire addition process if you feel as if you want a change you probably shouldn't do addition just buy a new house because it's really time consuming and if you're very impatient trust me <laughs> you're going to experience like a lot of delays like a lot so yeah thank you guys so much again for watching today's video and i'll see you guys in my next one